Sharon here, and I am here with a haul from Amazon.com, and uh, I have a few items to show you guys today. Uh, I got a couple of journals and a couple of very nice writing instruments. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you guys know, I love to write, and I am a sucker for very pretty paper and gorgeous journals and stuff. Um, I love to keep a journal. It's very fun. And I'll actually talk more about that in another video and the kinds of journals that I keep and show them to you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with this haul. So first of all, we have this journal from Paper Blanks, and it is the Jade Ultra Wrap Journal. We can see it's kind of a nice jade green. Um, there's the front of it. It's got the little flap that opens up like that. Okay, and then here's the back of it, um, and I took off all of the stickers that it came with. It just kind of said what brand name it was and how many pa uh, papers and stuff it had in it and whatnot. So anyway, um, that's what it looks like, and then we'll go ahead and open it up. Um, the end papers look like this. Very, very nice. It's a nice, um, nice hardbound um, book, and it feels nice. It's very nice and smooth and, and so on. Now, like many of the paper blanks journals, and I'll just, I'll just kind of show this to you guys. Like many of the paper blanks journals, the lines are very faint. I don't know if you can see that. And I'll try to get it more up to the camera here for you. Hide behind the book. <laughs> but yeah, the, the lines are very faint. So you have to really look to see them. And yeah, um, you have to, when I find when I write in these things, you have to really get into some good lighting so that you can see. Because otherwise you can end up writing uphill or downhill and then it's not going to look too pretty. But the paper feels nice. Um... I like these paper blanks journals a lot. Um, I'm just kind of turn a couple of the pages here um, for you guys. Ugh, get into a good view here. And excuse the background mess. I have my crochet mess everywhere, plus my husband's junk. It's just a mess around here right now. But anyways, I said the paper feels nice and thick, and um, it um, these are really smooth to write in. Now, some people don't like the little flap thing here, but I, I tend to not mind it. I just kind of get it to lie flat as much as I can and and yeah it's um the only thing I don't like is that I don't like the how faint the lines are but I guess when you actually write in your page um it kind of it's kind of nice because then you don't see the lines and it just looks like just straight script and all that but it does have a it does have a little bookmark um if I can dig it out of here um now because it has the flap it does not have the little elastic but let me dig the bookmark out it is stuck in the middle of, of all this. There it is. So it's got this little little hangy down bookmark and you can you know mark your mark your little page where you leave off writing. I'll go ahead and shove it back inside here. We don't really need it right now. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna use this for right now. Um I have a journal that I just that I'm halfway through and so I just I don't know what this is going to be used for but I'll think of something I usually do <laughs> so that is the one from paper blanks I have another one from paper blanks and this is a Poe Tamerline Tamerline journal so we can see um, he's got um, a piece of his writing right here and then his name is on the bottom right there and again I took off the the stickers for it um, but there's the front of it Again, it's got the oh one thing I didn't show you with this other journal um, is that it does have a it does have a pocket in the back. I I always forget about the pockets in the back, but it does have a little pocket in the back so that you can put uh, like a uh, memorabilia or whatever in it right there. So that is that. Um, okay, so same thing with this Poe one. Again, it's from Paper Blanks, and um, there's the back of it. And we'll just go ahead and open it up like so. Well, I'll show you the end papers. Very, very pretty. And then again, the papers in this, they feel much the same as the other one does. And the the lines are really faint in it. Um, try to get it closer to the camera. But the pages are nice and thick. They're smooth to write on. What, one thing about paper blanks is that the papers are very smooth to, to write with. So, yeah. Um, and I think this one also has a pocket in the back. Yes, it does. There's the pocket in the back to put um, whatever you want to in there. Um, it's just a paper pocket that they made to put, you know, some light things in. So that's the, the Poe one. Uh, the next one I have is a Twilight Garden journal, and it's more of a pocket journal. 
and this is from Peter Popper Press and this one's got a little elastic on it instead of a flap and this is much much smaller um, than the other two so this is a nice kind of pocket size thing for um, maybe taking with you to travel and to write little things down and stuff in but there's what that looks like and I didn't take the sticker off of it I'll, I'll peel all this off later but when I think about it um, and this is what the this is what the end papers look like right there and the lines on this one are also very faint now this paper isn't quite as smooth as the paper blanks one and the the spine is really stiff when you first get it so you got to kind of play with it a little bit but the paper um, doesn't feel quite as nice uh, and smooth as the other ones do and it's not quite as thick I don't believe but it's still a pretty good journal um, it looks like it's put together pretty well and uh, yeah so it's very pretty very very pretty um, this would actually kind of make a nice dream journal I think you know Twilight Garden yeah I think that would make a nice dream journal actually so that is this one now the next one I have to say is my prize. <laughs> um, this one I totally went goony eyed for and this is a Harry Potter, uh, one, uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter Gryffindor Crest Journal. Look at that. Look at that. And it feels like leather. I don't know that it's real leather, um, but it, it sure does feel like it. And, uh, oh, there goes my email thing. And then on the back it's got like the little label with the wonderful world of wonderful world wizarding world of harry potter and and so forth but um this is the gryffindor crest one and i i kid you not i totally went goony eyed for because actually what they do is this one um they actually sell at the universal studios uh theme park but i got lucky and i found this on amazon now this is a little pricey i'm gonna warn you guys right now it's a little pr it's quite pricey and most of that merchandise at that theme park is um if you guys have ever been there i've not been there but i'm dying to see it but i do know that it is very pricey this was probably about 35 bucks and it's a smallish journal it's not exactly pocket size but it's it's um not real big either but it's got the embossed uh crest on it right there it's definitely embossed and this is what the the spine kind of looks neat it's kind of got like the little indents and and stuff on it now inside this is what the this is what the end papers look like and when you open it up, it is not lined, but with, but this feels so nice. I mean, this paper is so nice and smooth and it's, it's, um, I think they tried to make it look like parchment paper, um, color wise, but it feels so nice and thick. And this one, you can actually do quite a bit with it. Like if you're a drawer, you can draw on it if you want to. Um, but for my journaling, I'm strictly a, a, right a, a I'm strictly a writer. Um, I don't draw. I can't draw to save my soul. <laughs> I am no artist. Uh, so I just, I do straight writing. I guess I'm boring. Um, and I don't do the smash books or anything like that. Um, it's just, that's just never been my thing with the collages and stuff. Um, so I'm just a strict writer, but, um, this, this paper just feels so nice and smooth and just, oh my gosh. I mean, it's just, it's a dream. It is a dream. And I think it would be a perfect paper to write with a fountain pen, or if you really want to get classic <laughs> get yourself a quill pen and a bottle of ink <laughs> but um i think i'm going to use i think i'm going to use a nice fountain pen on this one um love 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 not sure what i'm going to use this one for but this is going to be like my prize my joy my baby i think i mean this is just oh this paper love this paper and as you can see there's quite a few pages in it to write in so um really 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 liking it so that's how thick it is. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So those are the journals. Now next, um, I have two more items and those being, uh, fountain pens. I just, I picked up this fountain pen here is the Lamy Lamy all star in ocean blue. So it's going to be kind of an unboxing. I guess I sort of opened up the one end, but just to kind of look at it, but I'll show it to you guys. I haven't done anything with it. I've not done anything with it, but we'll get it out of the, the box so I can show it to you guys. So it comes on um, this little cardboard um, piece here. Let's go ahead and take it off. But this is what the pen looks like. It's nice, pretty blue. It's made of aluminum. Um, I'm told it resembles the Lam Lamy 
um, Safari, but uh, it's more of a plastic one, whereas this is made of aluminum and it's got a sticker on it right there. I'm gonna peel that off. Um, this is made of aluminum where the other one is, is quite plasticky. So yeah, um, ah, it's sticking to my nail, which is great. So this is what the pen looks like. Now um, the cap is, a, what's kind of cool about this is right here, this, there's a little window right there that kind of tells you how much ink you have in it. Okay, now uh, the cap is a um, pull off cap. It's not a screw cap, it's just a push and pull cap. We can see it's got a nice big clip to go with, um, I gotta, gotta itch right there, sorry about that. <laughs> um, it's got a clip right there to clip onto like your purse or your clothes or whatever, but now, I don't have any ink in it yet, so um, it, it's not going to spill everywhere. So to post the, the cap, you just stick it on there like that. Posting the pen is just putting the cap on that. But this is what the, this is what the nib looks like, guys. It's a medium point nib right there. And I don't know how well it writes or anything. I've been told that it, it writes very, very well. But as I said, I haven't used it yet. Um, this is just the first time I've taken it out. Um, it does come with um, it does come with a cartridge to to ink it up with, but um, I bought a converter to actually fill it up with my bottle of ink because um, the cartridges are okay, but most pen enthusiasts I think um, tend to use a, a converter and then just fill it up with their um, bottle of ink. Um, it's a little bit more economical I think because sometimes the cartridges can run uh, quite a bit of money and they're not always readily available. But you can always find a bottle of ink and um, and you can get a cartridge converter, a converter, yeah, a converter for just a few bucks more, and then you know just fill it up with your ink. Plus, um, you can readily change colors easy if you use one of those. Whereas with the cartridges, you have to use it and then put in the new one. Because otherwise, if you don't use it and you take it out, you're going to get ink everywhere. So yeah, um, that is that is that pen. Okay, the next item is. Go ahead and put this one back. The next item is also another fountain pen, but it is more of a kit because it came with a few other items. This is a Parker Urban Black fountain pen kit. You can see the Parker logo on there. We'll go ahead and take this off. It's got a film cover. I'll just kind of show you how it's laid out before we take it all out. Okay, without hopefully without spilling anything. Um, we got the little instruction sheet that tells you how to write with a fountain pen, how to fill it up and everything, how to ink it and stuff in all different kinds of languages, uh, plus English, thank goodness. This is a blotting cloth to clean up any extra ink when you're filling it up. It comes with a bottle of Parker uh, black ink, just a clear jar of black ink, and then here is the pen itself. This is what the pen looks like. There's the the nib. Try to get a little close up with it. It's got a nice feel to it. It's it's it feels very sturdy, um, very classy looking I think. And then here is the here's the lid for it. Get it out of here. Ah, there we go. This wants to be stubborn. And again this is a push cap. So that's what it looks like when it's uh, got the lid on it. And to post the cap or to post the pen, you just put it on there like that. That's what they mean by posting it. it gives a little bit extra weight on the end, so it kind of balances a little bit more in your hand. It feels nice to hold. I like the feel of it. Um, yeah, very, very nice, I think. And again, this isn't inked up or anything because I just got it, and um, it's actually my first time taking it out of the box. Now, the other stuff in the box is... Um, these here are the cartridges that you can actually put in it to use with it if you want to which are already pre-filled with ink. There's blue, it looks like, and I think there's there may be a black one or something like that. But um, these are the cartridges that you would put on it that are already pre-filled with, with ink um, if you want to go that route. But as I said, most people, most pen enthusiasts like to use a converter. 
which um, for this pen, it looks like this. So how it would work is you would put this little area inside the pen, and then there's a little slide mechanism that would, and it's a little stubborn, that kind of goes up and down like this, um, that sucks in the ink from your, from your bottle. And I will show you how to ink these things up in another video, but yeah, so that's what that comes with. But we'll we'll look at how to ink these up and how these work in another video. Um, right now, this is just the haul. So anyway, these are the things that I got from Amazon today. And um, I am very happy with this haul. Um, really, really happy about this. Which is good because I have to tell you, I woke up with um, to discover that I was getting a cold sore. And I don't like that. Do not like that at all. Try to get all this stuff put back here. Um, but yeah, I don't like that at all. Um, I hate getting cold sores. I really do. It's a pain in the, you know what? Just absolutely hate it. So anyway, um, it was kind of nice to get this haul to kind of cheer myself up a little bit. Um, very, very nice. I'm going to put everything away. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul um, as much as I enjoyed showing it to you guys. And... Um, Look for more haul videos and look for product reviews, which I have quite a few because I've gotten a few things. <laughs> so um, got a lot more things in store for you. So I hope you guys will keep watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And, um, and if there's anything that you uh, want to see in particular, just let me know and I'll do my best to show it to you. Okay, have a great day. Bye, guys.